What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I've got magic 30 predictions for you in the Premier League. Let's get into predicting them. So guys, this is the countdown then in the Premier League. Eight games after this one to go. It looks like uh, Man City are going to win the title. Looks like the three teams in the relegation zone. Looks like two of them are going to get relegated. And maybe one team will survive being Fulham. But who will replace them? We'll have to find out. And here are the predictions then for Magic 30 in the Premier League. But just before we get into the video, on the screen right now will be the prediction league for the Premier League. I'm not doing too well in it, but make sure you get your predictions in the comment section down below. Correct score, you get three points. The right outcome, you get one point. It's just for a bit of fun, guys. Make sure you uh, drop a like on the video as well. And if you're one of the 56.4% people watching who are watching but not subscribed, make sure you hit the big red button. It is free to subscribe. Um, so make sure you do it and really help the channel out as well. It will really... Uh, be appreciated by myself and in the long run it will really help the channel out as well so and that would mean that we can do more videos better quality uh, more giveaways as well so make sure you help us out and you know we can have more fun on the channel so without further ado let's get into the predictions so the first game is on Saturday um, it's Chelsea against West Brom it's the early kickoff now last time these two teams Faced each other. It was actually a free-free draw at the Hawthorns. Uh, but this one, I can't see a repeat of that. I think Chelsea are going to win it. Uh, last time they played was under uh, Lampard against West Brom, of course. Uh, he's now sacked. They've got Tuchel in now. If Lampard was manager of Chelsea right now, I probably would have given something to West Brom. Maybe a draw. Maybe a win. But Tuchel, he's brought a different style to Chelsea in a way. Um, he's got the, the lads in the dressing room back up on their feet, uh, motivated, ready to go every time they go out on the pitch. Uh, I do think Chelsea are going to win this one, and quite comfortably. I do think they'll concede, though, um, if Kepa's playing in goal. Of course, um, I'm not too sure, though. I'm not, of course, a uh, Chelsea fan or West Brom, but I think it'll be 3-1 to Chelsea come the full-time whistle. Leeds Sheffield United is the next game. Now, this one's tasty. Both teams come up from the championship last season. Both teams tried to stay up. Uh, not, sorry. Both teams um, have been in the championship in recent years. Sheffield United actually were in the Premier League last season as well. That just comes to my memory. Sorry about that mistake. But anyway. Both relatively new to the Premier League then. Um, Leeds, of course, having their first season up. They look like they're going to be safe. I don't think they're going to get relegated. It's a completely different story though for Sheffield United who are bottom of the table at the moment and they are six wins I do believe off safety which is about 14 points. No, so that's five wins, my bad. I uh, can't count today. <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be a long way off for Sheffield United but today, Saturday, I think they will get the job done. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Sheffield United. Cut the gap on the survival and maybe pull off a great escape and if they do survive I'm telling you I'm putting a bet on them to win the league next season and do a Leicester if that happens be insane next game funny enough is Leicester and they are facing the team that look like they're going to win the league Man City now these two teams meet it's always a really entertaining game uh, this time at the King Power there's most of the time a lot of goals, so I'm going to go for 2-2 two -two in this one. Can't split the teams, but Leicester, the last game I watched of them, FA Cup, they looked quite well. Uh, they set up quite well against Man United. I know it was an FA Cup game, but both teams played quite a strong team, in my opinion. Ian Atro has been on hot form, facing his former team uh, on Saturday. Man City, of course. Uh, for this one, 2-2, two -two, as I said. I can't split them. Um, Leicester, though. They've done really well this season, and apparently, I've read the other day, they're the only team this season to have stayed in the top four throughout the season, which is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. 
Next up, we have Arsenal against Liverpool. Liverpool, they've fallen off a lot this season. I think Ars Arsenal are at four points off Liverpool uh, before kickoff on this one. I think this one's being played on Sunday as well. Easter, of course. Um, it's away. If it was home, maybe would have said Arsenal maybe whitewashed white them 3-0. Um, that's not the case. I do think there'll be three goals in it, though. I'll give two to Arsenal and one to Liverpool. Two on Arsenal uh, against Liverpool at the Emirates. But I could be wrong. But I just have a feeling Arsenal will get something out of this one. Southampton's Burnley is next. They're both on the same amount of points. Same amount of goal difference. Who's going to win it? No one. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw at St. Mary's. Up next we have Newcastle against Tottenham. Now I remember the game, I think it was last season or the season before. Newcastle got a shock result against uh, Tottenham. They won the game. I can't see that happening to, uh, on Saturday though, or Sunday, wherever they're playing. Um, I think Tottenham are going to win it two goals to nil away at St. James's Park. And Newcastle, I think they're really going to struggle. The last few games are going to be crucial for them in their season. But I can't see them getting anything against Tottenham in this one. Aston Villa against Fulham is the next game then. Um, Aston Villa, they've done really well this season, it's fair to say. They're you know, quite controversial how they stood up last season. But this football, they've stayed up, they've invested in the summer, of course. They're doing quite well. Of course, no Jack Grealish at the moment. I'm not too sure when he's back. Um, Fulham, no, they look quite good, <laughs> to be honest. I think they will stay up and I think... They're going to get a result at Villa Park here. I think 2-1 to Fulham. I think they'll just about want it a little bit more. But Villa, you know, I think they'll they'll play quite well as well. You know, they have done this season. But Fulham, going to back them to get the three points away at Villa Park. Brighton uh, against Man United next up. Now, if you did not know, the last time this fixture happened was all the way up the start of the season. A really controversial penalty in the 100th minute uh, for Manchester United. Saw them win it. Apparently the referee already ended the game. And then something happened. And Man United got a penalty. And then they scored of course. And yeah. That was scenes. I didn't watch that one. But I heard a lot about it. But for this one. Can't see Brighton getting anything out of it. It wouldn't surprise me. They've gotten points off Liverpool and Spurs this season. Uh, remarkably, I think though they'll, they'll lose three one to the Red Devils in Man United. Two games to predict now left over for match week thirty. The uh, the second last one is Everton against Crystal Palace. Everton, you're not too sure what you're going to get from them. I watched their last game against Burnley. <laughs> I didn't know what to what to make of them to be honest. Crystal Palace, the last time I watched of them was. Late February, maybe, or against West Brom, that was it. And they won 1 0 from a penalty. Crystal Palace aren't the most convincing to watch at the moment, I'm not going to lie. After the international break, though, you never know what's going to happen. But for this one, I am going to back the Toffees to get a 2 1 win at home. The final game to predict, then, of the Easter weekend in the Premier League is Wolves against West Ham. I do think West Ham are going to win it. You know, last season. Both teams would have switched ends in the with, uh, different ends of the table. Same again this season, but Wolves now are further down than West Ham are, which has completely changed since last season. But I do think West Ham are going to get the win in a 3-1 victory away at Molyneux. They are my predictions then, guys. On screen now will be uh, what the table looks like if all my predictions were to come true. Make sure you comment your predictions, smash the like button, and don't be one of the 56.4% uh, of people that aren't subscribed when watching. Click the big red button and let's get to 1.1k. With your support guys, I have the faith. And I know I can count on you. Let's do it. And I'll see you in the next video guys very soon. Until then, take care. Goodbye.